Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Monday, June 7th, 2021. And we begin with a royal arrival on American soil. The second child for Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, made her big debut in Southern California on Friday with the official announcement coming out yesterday. Her name is Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, Lilibet in honor of Queen Elizabeth by using her family nickname, and Diana for Harry's mom. And even though she was born a U.S. citizen, Lilibet is eighth in line to the throne after Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince William's three children, Prince Harry, and Lilibet's older brother, Archie, but before other ranking royals like Prince Andrew. A gas giant flyby is taking place 390 million miles away today, and if you blink, you'll miss it. A NASA mission that's been studying Jupiter for several years will get up close and personal with Ganymede, a moon that's not only Jupiter's largest, but also the largest in our solar system. According to the space agency, every second counts because Juno will be closer than any spacecraft has in 20 years and will be taking photos and gathering data while whizzing by at 43,000 miles an hour. But the mission's excitement doesn't end today with Ganymede. Tomorrow, Juno will do a pass of Jupiter itself at more than 129,000 miles an hour, something NASA promises will be a wild ride. The filming of Mission Impossible 7 is living up to its name. Production has stopped again, this time in the United Kingdom, due to 14 positive COVID tests. The shutdown comes months after actor Tom Cruise made headlines for a colorful, caught-on-tape rant about crew members breaking virus rules by standing too close together. His worries were not unfounded. This is the movie's third delay. The first was in Italy in February of 2020, right at the start of the pandemic, then again in October, and now this time in the UK. Cast and crew will self-isolate for at least another week. There's a whole lot of shaking going on in Southern California. Over the weekend, more than 600 small earthquakes rattled the Salton Sea area, which is along the San Andreas Fault, about 30 miles north of the border with Mexico. It's rural, not too many people live there, and it's been known to have these kinds of swarms before. Most of the tremors were small, but one reached 5.3, and four others topped 4.0 on the Richter scale. So far, no damage has been reported. In a world where everything is about speed, a new super slow-motion video of Simone Biles is something to behold. That she set another record by winning the U.S. Nationals for a seventh time over the weekend is almost secondary, since she was expected to do so anyway, even without an encore performance of her history-making Yurchenko double pike vault. The tape that's making the rounds was shot by photographer Timothy Burke. It's of her floor routine and highlights her athleticism and uncanny ability to seemingly defy gravity. Mr. Burke even included a physics-heavy research paper on how she does what she does. We've put a link to the video on our website. One last Kid News note. If you have an iPhone and can't seem to keep a charge, you're not alone. Furious owners are flooding the company with complaints about the latest software update, which seems to be taking batteries from full to zero in just a few hours. So far, no response from Apple, although Apple watchers are hoping for a fix this week. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz. COVID just shut down production on what movie for a third time? Mission Impossible 7. How many quakes rattled Southern California over the weekend? More than 600. What did Simone Biles win yesterday? Her seventh U.S. Nationals Championship, which is a new record. A NASA spacecraft is getting up close and personal with what celestial body today? Ganymede, the biggest moon in our solar system. In one for the road, proof that some pups are born to interact with their humans. 
According to a study published in Current Biology, the ability of dogs to read our body language begins soon after birth. As evidence, scientists at the University of Arizona studied 375 eight-week-old puppies to see if they'd follow hand gestures or eye contact to find treats hidden beneath cups. Such a trick may be old hat for adult dogs, but it turns out some very young pups have a real knack for following human clues, too. These pups chose the right cup 70% of the time, and all it took was a researcher pointing or glancing at the correct one. Basically, the study found that most Fidos get better at reading the room with age, but those that can read people when they're young might become more successful service dogs. Of working with puppies, one of the researchers summed it up by saying, It's a tough job, but someone has to do it. Before we go, it's time to shout out our Kid News teachers in their classroom, starting with Mrs. Barron at Rancho Vista in Palmdale, California, Mrs. Daniel and her No Drama Llamas at Washington Irving in Durant, Oklahoma, to Texas for Mrs. Schneider and her rocking class at Jose Riojas in Fluggerville, and Mrs. Coring and her Eagles at Rogers Elementary in Rogers, and Mrs. Hockmeyer and her Bucks at Belvedere South Middle School in Belvedere, Illinois. Thanks for listening. Please rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning.